Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Analyze Syntax Action, which is available under Cognitive Actions. First of all, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Analyze Syntax Action invokes the Google Cloud Natural Language Service named Analyze Syntax to extract linguistic information breaking up the given text into a series of sentences and tokens providing further analysis on those tokens of the document and then store them in the JSON response. Analyze syntax action work with syntax analysis. Before going to learn about the analyze syntax parameters, first we will learn about what is syntax analysis. Syntax analysis breaks up the given text into a series of sentences and tokens and provides the linguistic information about those tokens. I will give you a small example over here. I will give you a small example for performing syntactic analysis on a text string sent directly to the natural language API. It checks the syntactical structure of the given input that is whether the given input is in the correct syntax or not. If you see on my screen, I'm having an example over here that is Google headquartered in the mountain view, unveiled the new Android phone at the consumer's electronic show. Sundar Pichai said in his keynote that users love their new Android phones. This is the example for the syntax analysis. By using this test, what I'm going to do, I'm going to analyze the text and then I'm going to extract the data or the series of sentences on token from the particular text. All right. Now we'll see the input parameters for the analyze syntax action. If you see, I'm having same kind of input parameters which I have for the analyze sentiment, analyze entities. We're having the same input parameters for the analyze syntax also. All right. Now, if you see the API key from where we'll get it, this API key that is from the natural long ways API from the Google Cloud platform. Let me go to Google Cloud platform. There I'm having create credentials and you can see API key, which I'm going to copy, copy API key. And I'm going to give the same API key over there. And now the document type, I'm going to select the plain text. Now I have to provide the document. I will explain you in two ways. First one from file, another one from GCS. First of all, I will select from file. That is nothing but from my local drive, I'm going to select the path of the syntax. All right. Now I'm going to select the file path over here. That is e drive power out my desktop. There you can see syntax.txt. Let me click on open. Now, if you see over here, the long ways, the long ways of the text. By default, we are having English over here so that I don't want to provide anything over here. If you are in this different language, then you have to provide the language code over there. All right. Now, if you see advanced, we are having timeout. This timeout is, the, is that that the agent should wait for the connection to be established with the server before it fails. That is, I'm going to give 30 seconds over here. All right. Now, once you are going to give all the input parameters for the analyze syntax, there will get two outputs that is as variable produced. One is JSON response, another one is status code. In all our previous tutorials like analyze sentiment and analyze entities, we have discussed about these two outputs that is JSON response, another one is status code. JSON response is nothing but JavaScript object notation response is a standard text-based format for representing structured data. And if you see status code, we are having 200 for successfully processing our request and we are getting the response also successfully. If the status code is 400, which indicates that the server cannot or will not process our request and the response also, we are not going to get it. All right. Now, this is the provide document from file. We are going to do that. All right. Let me click on save. I'm not going to display any message over here. Just I'm going to run this flow by clicking on run so that this power automate desktop will interact with the Google Cloud platform 
by using our API key and then in response it will give the JSON response over here. Now let me click on the variable over here that is JSON response. If you see over here I'm having document sentiment also. There you can see the magnitude and the score which we have already discussed in the analyze sentiment. Score which is more than zero that is nothing but positive sentiment. If it is the score is less than zero, that is negative. If it is the score is zero, then it is neutral. The magnitude should be zero to infinite. All right. Now, if you see the language, the text which we have given in the analyze syntax or the file which we have given is the English. And if you see the syntaxes, it is breaking up into the sentences. There you can see I'm having two sentences over here. Now, let me open once again. There you can see this is one sentence another one is these sentences that is Sundar Pichar said in his keynotes that users love their new Android phones. This is another sentence that has been divided into two sentences. There you can see in the first sentence I'm having that is Google headquartered in Mountain View unveiled the new Android phone for the consumers electronic show. All right. This is the first sentence. If you see the second sentence. I'm having Sundar Pichai said in his keynote that user loves their new Android phone. This is the second sentence and you can see the sentiment over here that I'm having score 0.5 and the magnitude is 0.5. All right. This kind of information we can get it from the JSON response. All right. Now let me close it. And if you see for every action that we're having the exceptions over there, right? Now let me click on that. There you can see on error, there you will find advance. There you can see fail to invoke cognitive service, another one request timeout expired. These kind of exceptions, we can get it. And also if you want to add any new exception, then you can add by using new rule. All right, let me click on save. Now, if you observe that we have done it, the document from file. Now, how can I go ahead and do that from GCS? There you can see I'm having an option called from GCS, which I have not explained in these two in these two actions. That is analyze sentiment, another one analyze entities. Now I will explain you how to do that by using from GCS. What is GCS? GCS stands for Google Cloud Storage, and there you need to provide GCS content URI. How can I go ahead and get it? Let's go back to Google Cloud Platform. There you can see over here, Cloud Storage, you can get it. All right, let's click on Browse. There, you need to create a bucket first. There, if you observe, I have already created a bucket with the name of Pad Bucket. It's nothing but Power Automate Desktop Bucket. There you can see, just now I have created on August 15, 2021. There you can see the access that is public access. I have given it and the access control. I have given it as fine grained access there. If you go inside the power automate bucket, I have uploaded the same syntax .txt. Let's open that. There you can see I'm having syntax .txt. And you can see public URL. I'm having HTTPS story dot Google APS dot com slash power automate desktop bucket slash syntax text. And you can see authenticated URL there. You are having the URL over here. Now, if you see GS Google storage, it will URI is nothing but GS slash PAD bucket slash syntax dot TXT. This is the URL which you need to copy to the clipboard. And this URL you are going to provide over here in the GCS content URI. All right. Now, the remaining things over here, you can see public URL and you are not going to use this. And if you're going to use this for the user purpose, in that case, you're going to use this kind of public URL. All right. Now, one more thing you have to understand in my bucket, I have given public access so that I can access from anywhere there. You can see public to internet. All right. Now let me go back to power at my desktop. Now I'm going to click on save once again. Now this flow is working from the provided document from the Google cloud storage. 
all right now let's run the flow to see the output that we are going to get it the same output or not which we have seen by using from file all right let's run the flow flow execution started there you can see i got the response let's double click on that there you can see the same kind of output or json response i got it from the google cloud platform there you can see i'm having document sentiment long ways and sentences all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to break the given text into the series of sentences and tokens by using analyze syntax action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day